Good morning! I hope you had a good dream and good morning to my name twin, Gigi. I'm not too hungry but we've got another early start with my family today. I wanted to try these with you guys. I've got so much to say I don't know where to start. Let's get a few of these out first. We'll try about this many. Um, oh! Bye bye corn chip. Let me get that. I will eat that. Mm. It's not as flavourful as the love corns but it's definitely very fun. I just need to fill my hole for a bit. We're going out for a Father's Day lunch at some point, so this will just maintain me until then. Anyway, I thought I would tell you all the origins of my name, Gigi. My actual name, like on my passport, is not Gigi, it's a Chinese name. And when I used to live in Wales, all the teachers would pronounce it really wrong and it would really annoy me. A lot of people couldn't pronounce it and it sounded really bad. So when I moved to London for uni, that was my opportunity to be like, right, I'm not going to use this name. So what I did was I used the first letter of my Chinese name, which is G. And so everyone used to call me G, right? Over time, it just became really, really gangster. Like I would be walking in the library and my friends would be like, yo, G, yo, G, G, G. And I was like, <laughs> this is a little bit too gangster for my liking. So what I did was in the third year of uni, because G-I-G-I, -G -I, like G-G, is like a common name in the Asian culture. I was like, right, I'm gonna just add an extra G to my existing 1G. I didn't want to make it G-I-G-I -I because I'm like, I'm completely changing my name. So I thought, right, I'll just add an extra G to make it G-G and make it more feminine. So the year I did that, I don't know if you guys remember, but you know how guys in London started calling each other G-G, like double G. So they used to call each other G and then at some point it changed to G-G. And that was the point after I changed mine to G-G. So the gangster life just seems to keep on following me. I can't help it. But that's the origins of my name Gigi. It's spelled Gigi, not G-I-G-I. -I, and it's derived from trying to run away from people saying my name wrong and then trying to run away from the gangster life. But the gangster life keeps following me. Oh. Anyway guys, I will eat these with you guys. So yeah, we're gonna walk around Central today. I'm taking Roller with me. Then we're gonna have lunch for Father's Day. And then it's meant to be raining in the afternoon, so we're gonna come back. Actually, I don't know what the plan is, but it's another full day with my family. Oh. And that comment as well, a couple of comments I read of people saying like, oh, I'm super organized with my matching outfits for my pre-recorded videos. Yesterday, I kind of like saw that I was looking at my pre-recorded videos. I'm like, okay, which one should I use tomorrow? And I did match it. However, I don't want to set your expectations too high because the rest, I don't think could match due to the weather, but you'll see. I don't want to disappoint you, but I have to. The other ones I don't think are matching. That was just fluky. Planned fluky, but... Mm. Actually, the more I'm chomping on this... Mm. And how did you get your name, Gigi? Like, is that your actual name? Or was it derived from being a gangster as well? Some people call me Triple OG because I am a Triple OG. Clearly. Mm. I mean, one day I might be G G G G G G G G running away from stuff. Mm. The more I eat this, the more more -ish it gets. They're not flavorful like the love corn though. This is more like ready salted, you know? Whereas the love corn, my favorite one, barbecue, is that. Mwah. Anyway, guys, it's 20 to 9 right now. I need to get ready and go meet them ASAP, catch a train in. But I hope you have a good day. 
if I can't record lunch or dinner, I've got my pre-recorded video I will press send on. And I hope you have a lovely Sunday. Peace.